What's up, everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Cryptolution, where we talk about everything under the moon in the crypto universe. Today is Thursday, July 6th. In today's video, we're going to be talking about five NFT collections on Solana. Now, I haven't been covering a lot of Solana NFT lately, and the reason is because once DGods left the ecosystem within Solana, we saw a lot of the Solana NFTs kind of drop in floor price or not have so much activity within buying volume. But I want to share with you these collections because there is activity. There is a community behind each one of these NFT collections, and that to me could be a great way to have some exposure to it. So just hear me out on these different collections and keep in mind this is not financial advice this is just my opinion and your own entertainment so with that said be sure to like the button subscribe to the channel don't forget to join our patreon page and most importantly please be careful with any of the scammers down in the comments below i will never reach out via whatsapp telegram direct messaging or email so please be careful and invest safely so guys and girls let's get right into it so before we even start, again, I want to mention to everybody that we are giving away Yukio NFTs to our current and new subscribers. Right now, we're giving away four NFTs per winner, and we have already announced the fourth winner as of today. That means we still have four more winners that we need to announce. And in order for you to participate as the watcher of this video, as a subscriber to this channel, you have to click on the link in the descriptions below of this video. And it will take you to this Twitter page, which will give you directions on how to participate by subscribing to the YouTube channel, taking a screenshot, sharing it in the comments within this Twitter post, and also follow, like, and retweet that post. And that's it, you're entered a chance to win an airdrop of Yukio NFTs. So with that said, let's go ahead and begin with the video. So the first collection I wanna talk about is Galactic Geckos. This is an OG collection. This is like one of the very first collections that came out on Solana as a PFP collection and has done tremendously well. Over the years, I've seen celebrities and even athletes rock this PFP. But the reason I'm sharing this with you is because it's not a bad affordable price to enter in this economy. Now this is roughly between 500 to 700 US dollars per NFT, give or take. But again, not bad considering that this is one of the OG collections. Now you must be wondering why this collection specifically. Well, they did come up with a roadmap around April 25th. Now this roadmap is very new. And it talks about how it doesn't really need a roadmap because it's in space. But I'm guessing that maybe there's something that's gonna happen really soon based on this roadmap. Now, there hasn't been any new announcements just as of yet. So that's why you have to wait and subscribe to their actual Twitter page and also follow the floor price trend to see one's a good way to get an enter into a position. But again, you have to love the artwork. You actually have to love the community. But I wanna share that with you because again, this is an OG collection that has not dropped in floor price. We've seen so many blue chips literally drop 90% of their value. This has barely moved the needle. Like literally it's held a really great stable price or the floor price hasn't drastically changed too much. So that's why I think Galactic Geckos is here to stay. Now let's talk about the next collection. And that collection is called Solana Monkey Business, but this is the Gen 3 version, yes. So Gen 2 right now is hovering around 150 Solana. And again, this collection of Solana Monkey Business was again, one of the major blue chips of Solana. It is an OG collection. I remember when the celebrity Steve Harvey bought one of those PFP NFTs of Solana Monkey Business and put it as his picture profile, the floor price literally boomed. And ever since then, it's boomed. They have an amazing community. And again, their PFPs are recognizable within the whole Solana ecosystem and possibly through cross chains such as Polygon and Ethereum. So this is the Gen 3 collection. Right now, the floor price is hovering around 38 Solana. Now, I think that something's gonna happen is that when these things do reveal, I do expect that the floor price could actually drop a little bit. But that could actually be a good time to get some exposure because right now, people are kind of speculating, holding on to their NFTs or listing them on the floor for this floor price because they're waiting for them to see if they have a rare NFT or if they just have a great collection at this price. Because again, who knows if the floor price will pump after a reveal. So you must be wondering when the reveal is going to happen. Well, it's actually going to happen tomorrow around 4.30 p.m. UTC time. So tomorrow we should expect a huge reveal of this collection and you need to watch the floor to see what's going to happen. Now, that's something I don't want to stress on everybody to just ape into. You have to do your own research. But again, this is part of the Monkey DAO. And the Monkey DAO is part of the Solana Monkey business ecosystem. So if you haven't already had some exposure, maybe this is the best time to look forward to that because I'm definitely going to look forward to that. Okay, let's talk about the next collection. And that is called Degenerate Ape Academy, hovering around 37 Solana. 
This is another OG collection that again has done pretty well. It hasn't fluctuated too high, too low in terms of its floor price, especially in the bear market. This is actually one of those blue chips that really has retained its value. And again, OG came up with apes and a lot of different things that you need to look forward to. But what I want to share with you is this other thing, which is basically their holders. So this is a chart showing you how well their holders hold, like literally hodl, hold on for dear life. And as you could see here, Degenerate Ape Academy is actually the best holder count. These holders hold even above Salon and Monkey Business, even OK Bears, Blocksmith Labs, ABC. There are less flippers because I think the people see the value of the NFTs themselves. And if that means something, that means that the community sees the value of these NFTs. They don't consider it as a trade or a flip. They consider it as a staple, as an image, as a representation of a brand that they should be representing. Because again, maybe Degenerate Ape Academy is that type of solidified representation that allows them to feel legitimate. So I just want to share that with everybody, and that's Degenerate Ape Academy. Next collection, let's talk about it, and that's going to be OK Bears. Yes, a lot of people have their own quarries around OK Bears. This pumped up to around 250 Solana. I sold around that time, thank God. But right now, it's hovering around 39 Solana. Now, I, I know that people have their FUD storms around this collection, around the founder, but I think that you can't ignore their trading volume. They actually, right now, to me, have the highest trading volume on Solana after D Gods left, and that's around 3.2 million Solana in trading volume. That's absolutely huge, in my opinion. Now, they're not just a PFP collection, they're also a force for good. And I like collections like that. Like say, for instance, they partner with Red to provide funding, to help fundraise, to help get money over to people in need and help for global crucial issues, right? So the fact that an NFT collection is there to help support global efforts more than just being a PFP collection is something that I would support personally. So I just want to share that with everybody. But not only that, they also have a huge partnership with IMG, which is an agency that can help their brand grow into multiple different things, not just a PFP collection, but what if it's merchandise, applications, or maybe partnerships with other clothing brands. And that's where OK Bear stands with their partnership with IMG. And that's something that I want to share with everybody because again, this is OK Bear's licensing themselves as a brand and who knows what partnerships they will have once we are in the boom economy of NFTs. So that's why I think OK Bear should be on your radar. The next collection I wanna share with you is the last collection, and that is Klanosars. Now Klanosars, I have not been covering a lot, but there's a reason why I'm covering it in this video today. It has 1.9 million Solana in trading volume. Now with the 45 Solana floor price, is it a good time to ape in? Well, let me share this recent news that just came out today around Klanosars. Now this was announced on their Twitter page. They said that they're thrilled to officially welcome Katano as a strategic advisor, bringing his extensive experience from Rovio and Warner Brothers. So what is that all about? Because we can see that Angry Birds is right here on the cover. Now, as a Corp Senior Vice President and a Global Brand Management at Warner Brothers, Katano led the Global Dark Knight brand team, achieving over 1 billion in worldwide box office sales. He also oversaw brand teams for major properties like Harry Potter, Superman, Batman, and across the divisions of the studio. That's a connection at Warner Brothers. But not only that, he was a president at Rovio in America. He was a spearheaded global marketing for the Angry Birds movie, including the groundbreaking digital activation with Walmart, Lego, and McDonald's. So that's really interesting that they actually have this person to grow their brand. So with their expertise and awareness with his uh, experience in this, I can definitely see that Klanosaurus can actually be more than just a POP collection on Solana, that it will be somewhat of a television show. Who knows, maybe it's gonna be this totally new brand that's gonna reach in the mainstream audiences and web too. That's why I wanna share that with you within this collection. Klanosaurus is actually doing something that I've never really seen before, which is bring somebody from an actual movie studio or actual brand within gaming. That's really cool in my opinion. So as a conclusion, let's go ahead and close the video. I share with you five different collections. Yes, they all are OGs or new to the space, have a lot of trading volume, have a high floor price, which is something that we can't ignore. They all have that high floor price. So really, do you want to have one exposure to one of these collections or one of each? Or are you just wanting to just see, to buy an NFT just for PFP representation? Or maybe you want to buy these NFTs because you really do see value that they're going to grow over time. Well, I hope that this video has been educational and informative. Let that be a determining factor. Now, if you like what you've seen, like what you're here, be sure to like up the button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page to receive all of our alpha calls and buy and sell orders in both NFTs and cryptocurrencies, but also a recent NFT collection 
on Ethereum that I think would do really well and how we plan to strategize buying into the collection and taking our profits. So until then, I'll see you guys and girls next time.